3.10 brought a quality of life improvement game changer not only for me, but for a lot of other players I know as well. Players that like to do exploration and discovery, for people that want to engage in piracy, for folks that like to roleplay or do multiplayer activities in an org. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video, which is the reintroduction of in-ship persistence. So let me break this down and talk about exactly how huge this is. This in-ship persistence pertains to several aspects of gameplay, but one of the things I've always loved to do is to do one of the search missions that takes you to a wreck site and not only retrieve the piece of cargo or accomplish the mission, but to gather the excess and stray cargo you find strewn around the wreck. You used to be able to pick up these extra boxes and put them in your ship and then go sell them for extra loot. Now, it never really added up to a ton of extra money that you would make, but it was more the gameplay activity of searching around and finding these boxes just laying around. I've talked about it in other videos where this was a really great sense of discovery and not just something visual like being able to say, oh, look at that cool sparkly thing but it translated into an active gathering of material that you could turn into some extra profit and contribute to the character advancement. At the same time that they introduced client-side OCS, this ability to pick up the boxes and have them persist in your ship went away. Yes, you could still pick them up and put them on your ship, but in almost every single case, they would either disappear while in transit back to some place to sell them, or would disappear between the time you left your ship and ran into the trade console. It was very frustrating. So, it's been over a year and a half since we've been able to do this. And really, this activity extends beyond just these hand-carryable boxes and into some other items I'll talk about in a minute. What you can now do again which was reintroduced into 3.10, is pick up these boxes, store them on your ship, and be able to go sell them. Along with that, another change they made, and one that might have actually been in place a little before 3.10 that I didn't notice, was an increase in the contents of each box. Each hand-carried box used to be six units of whatever it was holding, and they doubled that to 12 effectively doubling the amount of money you could make gathering these boxes. But this persistence of boxes goes beyond these very cool exploration and discovery missions and extends into true piracy. Now, I'm not talking about griefing. I'm talking about being a true pirate. Pirate. Where you're attacking other ships with the goal of obtaining their cargo. If you destroy another player's ship, particularly one that is holding a lot of cargo, it will spill out a few boxes for you to be able to gather up, just like you would at one of the wreck site missions. The inability to be able to keep these boxes on board your ship long enough to be able to sell them effectively killed piracy, even in this very primitive form. Also, with the doubling of the box values, I won't say it turns piracy into a lucrative activity, but it does help make movement in that direction. I tested this in-ship persistence fairly extensively. I went to a wreck site and picked up a couple extra boxes in addition to the mission box, and I should say that the mission boxes always did a good job of staying in your ship, at least during a given game session. But I picked up these extra boxes put them on board my Origin 315P, and went on around the verse doing my business. I did several things to try to get the boxes to disappear. I landed and ran into the facility and came back. Normally they'd be gone, but they were still there. I let the landing services automatically store my ship. When I retrieved it, they were still there. I forced storage of my ship at the trade console, retrieved it, and they were still there. I completely logged out of the game, came back into a different server, and they were still there. I completed other missions, and they were still there, 
Basically, I had these boxes hanging around with me for two days doing a variety of gameplay and they stayed firmly in my ship. So I was pretty convinced that this in-ship persistence was back. But what about other things? I've tried several times to just store a simple bottle of water aboard my ship in hopes that I'd be able to carry simple supplies on board and keep a kind of stock there. In a ship like the 315P, it feels a little like a home away from home. You've got a bed, a sink, a fridge, all the amenities that would allow you to stay out in space for extended periods of time. The only thing missing was being able to stock some food and water. Now, sure, I could have kept those things in storage areas of my armor, which is fine, but it's taking up space where I could store other things and just breaking the whole experience of being able to use my ship like it should be. My testing here was also fairly extensive. With a simple bottle of water, I put it inside the fridge of my 315P. Is he not taking the simulation seriously? And went through a similar series of activities like I did with the cargo boxes. Stored and unstored, logged out and back in. Pulled out and used other ships, then came back to the 315P. And I've got to tell you, I was a little nervous that first time when I went to go peek back into the refrigerator to see if my bottle of water was still in there, staying nice and chilled. But there was a huge smile and cheer when indeed there it was, just the way I left it. I also experimented with leaving something outside the fridge, just laying on the counter. But I got the same positive results with the energy bar I left on the countertop. No matter what I did, the energy bar stayed right where I put it. So storing a bottle of water or an apple may seem like a fairly small thing, but I've heard numerous owners of bigger ships that have multi-crew capacities talking about how cool it would be to be able to just keep a case of water stocked on board the ship along with some food. And it's not that we're currently forced into spending days of gameplay out in deep space, making these kinds of supplies a necessity, it's more just the idea of using your ship like it's intended. These big ships have galleys to feed your crew and support a live aboard lifestyle. Adding in this first step to be able to keep some basic supplies on board, I think will add a lot to that bit of the star citizen experience that everyone's looking forward to. And I should say, this testing wasn't something unique with the 315P. I did a similar water bottle test with my Cutlass, just dropping the bottle of water on the floor and coming back over and over in different situations to see if the water was still there. And it was. There is one situation to warn you about. I did have my cargo disappear from my ship while collecting it at one of the wreck sites. What happened is that I took so long exploring and fiddling around at the site that the original mission I took to get there expired. When it did, I noticed that all the empty boxes still floating around inside the wreck, as well as the boxes I hadn't picked up yet, all disappeared and were culled from the server. I pretty much saw it happen while I was crawling around inside the wreck. When I went back out to my ship, the same thing had happened. It had removed those boxes also from my ship to clean things up. So my suggestion is to grab some of the boxes, then grab the mission box to extend the timer if you need to finish clearing the place out. Then go as straight as you can to turn in the mission box to close out any possible culling activity that might be associated with that mission. I've had really great success with doing it that way, but let me know if you're having a different experience here in 3.10. But all is not over because we have a winner announcement. For August, the winner of the Aurora MR with game package is Austin Aylworth. To claim your prize, send me an email to my business email you'll find on my channel homepage and send it using your address that's associated with your RSI account. Include your Star Citizen handle, which is your unique name, in the email. Do not send me any other password or login information. After that, you should find a shiny new Aurora with game package waiting for you in your hangar. 
If you'd like to send this gift to a friend to get someone new into the game, let me know before claiming and we can work together to get that Aurora into the hands of whoever you want. I hope everyone liked this video and you could subscribe if you want to to keep following the gaming shenanigans and I'll be talking to you later.